What's up guys? Just getting ready because today we are spray painting a hair salon. So stay tuned. Hey what's up guys, I'm Woke, an artist from Connecticut, and in today's video we are going to be doing a mural for the Color Platform where they do amazing things with hair. So they reached out, they wanted to get a mural on one of their walls, uh, they left it very open ended, they just requested a female character with crazy colorful hair, and uh, we're going to add a hairbrush in there somewhere, and a train. So let's get to it. Alright, I am on my way to the color platform now. I'm going to go talk to the owners, check out the wall, run some ideas by them, and uh, just figure out a game plan. So, here we go. Okay, everything went well with the talk about what we are going to do, so we're going to grab the iPad now and start sketching. I took a photo of the wall, I put it into Procreate on my iPad so that this way I could uh, lower the opacity and draw on top of the photo of the wall and see exactly where and how the character and train would interact. So I'm just creating different layers and going over it and trying to get a rough sketch on here. A lot of times the colors will change uh, when I get to the wall because some of the spray paint doesn't match the colors or just better ideas come about while I'm on the spot. And I do want to give a huge thank you to the color platform for being so um, just open with the idea, uh, enjoying my artwork and kind of letting me do my thing and, and run with it. I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome clients. Closed, but still awesome. But I got the key. So let's go on into the color platform. Here's the salon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And here's my wall. So I will be painting right here. I gotta take the clock down real quick. And uh, yeah, let's get started. You guys wanna see the most annoying part of doing indoor murals? This is it. <laughs> I was really nervous about this clock. It looks super heavy. I was hoping it wouldn't be a pain to take off and that was easy. Never mind. And back to work. I definitely hate doing prep work. It's just an unnecessary exhaustion before starting the mural. So if there was a way not to, I would absolutely love that. But there's not. On every mural, there's always some kind of obstacle or challenge that gets in my way. And on this one, it was definitely these lights. I couldn't figure out where to move them to. There was nothing to hang them or tape them off to. They were just dangling in front of the wall. So I figured I'd try to create a system in the morning the next day when I come back. So in the meantime, while I'm doing all this terrible prep work, I will tell you a little bit about the color platform, which is made up of individual artists specializing in a wide variety of color and cutting styles. They opened in October of 2020, but have been in the industry for 15 plus years. You find more information about the salon online on Facebook, the color platform, and also Instagram, the color platform. Also, sorry about the blurry footage right here. I didn't have anything in front of the wall to focus the camera, so I do apologize. Ugh, is the prep work done yet? So boring. If I have to do it all, you guys have to watch it all. Okay, I promise, we're almost done. You guys ever seen Dexter? I'm about to murder this wall. Also, if you have seen Dexter, I'm, I'm calling crap on him taping all this off by himself. That, that, not true. Not true. This is a pain in the, mm-hmm. Got a brand new respirator for this. Definitely important to use inside. No idea where the new covers are, but at least I have my old mask, so. 
taking these off, put them on here. Make sure you change your pads. That's just gross. I don't always project, but because this was a business and I wanted them to be able to get back to work as soon as possible, I figured this would be the fastest way to get my image onto the wall and get to work. Good morning. It is day two. I need coffee badly. I am pretty exhausted. Yesterday I tattooed all day and then went at night to try to get a head start on everything and map out the mural. And I think I'm still recovering from a concert from the night before. So show must go on. Let's get this thing done, but coffee first. Coffee and snacks for the day. Real quick update. I got the snacks, I got the coffee, I'm feeling good. Bad news is, I just realized there's so much more stuff to tape off when I get in there. But, I have a garbage bag system that I'm hoping will work for the lights that are dangling in front of the mural. So, we'll see when I get there. I just pulled up and the train is going by. And that is why we are putting a train on this mural. There really wasn't a whole lot to tape off today. It is a business though, so I just wanted to make sure everything was kept clean. And um, I did bring the garbage bags and tried them on the lights and they actually worked really well. So the lights were kept clean, the floor was kept clean, everything was good. I'm really glad I did come by the night before to prep everything and make sure it was all good to go because today was a very long day and I wanted to make sure it all got done today because I remembered that they were actually having photos taken of the salon the day after, so it needed to get done. Okay, so what you couldn't see me taping off with paper was underneath this beam here. When you go under it and look up, you can see all the paper here. And after all the complaining that I've done about taping stuff off and blocking in everything, I'm gonna share a little secret. It wasn't actually supposed to be on this wall. The original mural was supposed to go right on this little wall. I wouldn't have to go to the ceiling. It would stop right at the black, but that's my fault. I walked in, I saw this wall. I said, hey, that wall looks much better. And I think it does. Whenever I'm doing a mural, I like to start with the background first. That way I can get that all out of the way and then just start layering the foreground on top of it. There's definitely pros and cons when it comes to painting on drywall. Drywall is an extremely smooth and flat surface, which is amazing. However, if you layer too much paint and it's still wet, the paint will start to drip. You can see here how shiny the paint is. That means the paint is still wet. And if I were to accidentally uh, add too much paint, it would drip. If my hand hit it, it would smear across the wall. So you do have to wait until the paint dries and layer over it repeatedly. If you're curious about what caps I'm using, as I always say in all my other videos, I always like to use the Montana stock cap for background work or any large area. I like the level one thin cap from Montana for you know anything that's like a thin line and for super super thin detailed areas which I'm doing right now I like using the tiny pink stencil cap you can find all of these online <sighs> I gotta take a quick break and tell you guys something so all my life I've heard girls talk about couches in the bathroom and I've never believed it I've never seen it this is the bathroom Dude, there's a couch in the bathroom. We're missing out, guys.
Why did I agree to paint a train again? Circles and straight lines and circles and straight lines. We'll just warp those lines. We don't need straight lines. Why did I agree to paint a train? Why did I agree to do a train? I think I'm finally done with the train but it's missing something. It's been at least a decade since I've tagged a train. Real quick interruption, sorry, but new merch just came in, so we're gonna unbox it, making this video an unboxing video. Check out the new pins that I ordered. Woo! Oh, awesome, awesome. Get that out of the way. Let's check these out. Okay, all right, so these are the new pins. Uh, can we see that clear? Nope, not at all. You can get the matching shirt. Everything is available on my website. So be sure to go to the website, check that out, order those today. Thanks, guys. Here's a little close-up of all the pins. And on this one here, I took off the uh, protective film that was on it so you could see how clear it is. So, yeah, these things will be up on the website ASAP. All right, this is the website where I have the new pins, I have stickers, I have t-shirts, I have prints, I even have original artwork for sale here. So be sure to check it out and get yourself some. what it looks like from uh, the ceiling when I'm trying to take the paper down. <laughs> but taking the paper down is very, very uh, satisfying. Check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right guys, we are all done. I'm all wrapped up. And before I show you this, I need you to do me a favor. If you guys enjoyed the video, Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when there's a new video. I do all of this recording myself. I do all the painting myself, obviously. So if you guys could just take one second to hit that button, that'd be awesome. Share it, show a friend, show a stranger, show your family, just show someone. Let's blow this channel up. And now here's the final product, check it out. I just wanna give a huge thank you to the color platform. You guys rock. I know I complained a lot about the taping, but honestly, this is a super fun project, so thank you guys. And to everyone watching, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until next time, take care.